Japan. Today we're at Ebisu, a really cool, elegant place in Tokyo. It's right next to Shibuya, but it's not really known by a lot of people, especially tourists. So if you're in Japan, you have to check it out. Right now I'm standing next to Ebisuzo, which is a statue of the god of money, prosperity. And that's what Ebisu is named after. So we're gonna check out the garden place, we're gonna check out the Sapporo Beer Museum, and we're gonna go everywhere. So stay tuned and let's have fun. We're finally at the garden place. What's really cool about this place is that it was made constructed for over 15 years. And as you can see, it's become this beautiful garden palace. So there's tons of restaurants, there's, um, there's tons of things to do. So we're gonna go check it out, let's go. And um, with the seasons, um, you know, the trees change, the leaves fall, but the, it's always here. And no matter when you come, it's just really beautiful. It, anybody can enjoy it. So this is the chandelier of eternal light. As you can see, they're having like a little festival over here. Nobody's here right now because it's still in the morning, but I'm sure later on a lot of people gather here, have some wine, have some cheese, have some sandwiches and have a good time. It's really interesting. I love Ebisu because when you come in the morning, it's completely different than the night. At night, it's this adult world. But in the morning, it's um, just very graceful, very quiet. It's a really nice place to be. It, depending on the time of day, you know, you get to see so many different things. You have to come to Ebisu. So, as I was just talking about, this is the Hanayongo, famous drama part. I think uh, Matsuju would stay, you know, over here, or maybe Tsukushi would be over here waiting for him to come. So if you're in EBC, you have to check this out. It's really cool. I think it was here before the drama, of course, and then when it happened in the drama, it became a really famous, um, in Japanese we say Rokichi, and a lot of fans will come here to see this spot and to go with their friends and uh, pretend that they're in the drama. So if you come here at night, you can see people like, you can see uh, two girls or a guy and a girl pretending that they're in the drama, just hanging out and you know, doing their thing. So come check it out. So the thing about Ebisu that I really love is that it's, it's elegant. Ebisu has so many different faces. As I said, in the morning, it's completely different than night. And as you can see, if you look over here, right now it's just very graceful and peaceful. But at night, it will become more of a romantic scene that um, you can enjoy with your lover, or maybe your friends, or maybe even by yourself. And as you can see, the chandelier, as we saw earlier, it, it's, it, it's been here since 1999, and it is just loved by everyone in Tokyo. So if you come here at night, you can see it lit up and just beautiful. So come check it out. 